great to be bad. Great to have you. Thank you. We are Annie and the Hedonists, sometimes known as Annie and the Other Hedonists. We'll be, be happy when we come here and all of your organs are functioning. start off, since we're in church, with the, with the gospel song. This one's called, When I Get Home. <clears throat>
have the uh, old uh, vintage traditional uh, singers and music, and this one is from uh, Ruth Brown. Annie and I got to see her perform in uh, New York City a couple of times. Wonderful uh, uh, singer, and this one is called Teardrops from My Eyes. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Every time it rains, every time it rains, I think of you, I think of you, and that's the time, and that's the time, I feel so blue, I feel so blue, when the rain starts to fall in my love. of the blues. Being her disciple. Right. Yeah. That's right. And okay, we got that straight. All right. <laughs> Ready, guys? Yes. One, two, three, four. Just like 
Yeah. 
not doing. Well, we're going to do a song by a Pulitzer Prize winner. <laughs> Is that right? Was no. It? <laughs> maybe, maybe he's a Pulitzer Prize winner. Oh, what prize did he win? Tell him, tell him. No bell. No bell. Oh, no bell. <laughs> it was very no bell of them. No. Pulitzer. No bell. And it was just geezer, though. Booker? That's the movie. Guess who I'm talking about? You all know, right? Robert Zimmerman. And you can sing along with it.
you so much. So uh, with all the uh, strife that's going on in the world, uh, we found a beautiful song that addresses the situation. You know, people fighting with their families and political divide and what we need. We need a lot of things, but one thing we need is, the last is, is mercy now. And this is a beautiful song written by Pierre Gautier. Gautier. Okay. A little French.
sing now. Thank you. Thank you.
Well, I want to uh, just make one thing perfectly clear about the next song, which is a fairly newly written song. This is not about me, even though the main character's name is Johnny, okay? So, for the record. And this is a song about combining two activities. Uh, but first, let me find out how many of you like to go fishing? How about drinking? Oh, okay. Well, mixing those two together can be hazardous to your health. That's what this song This is about poor Johnny at the bottom of the lake. And we need your uh, participation, and we're going to teach it to you. It goes like this. Cleft tones, but it is the cleft tones. 
I got to see him once at the Allen Free Rock and Roll Show at the Brooklyn Paramount Museum. And it sounds something like this. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Go scream. Just sing quiet. Don't drown me out. I'm the lead singer. <laughs> Start it again. Easy, easy now. Easy, no shouting. This is beautiful music. <laughs> Start again. Get a little, 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 little. Yeah. Get a little, 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 little. Thank you. 
What about that last note Annie had? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, she practiced that in high school in the bathroom when she was supposed to be in class. <laughs> and guess what? That song I sang, we sang it in the bathroom too. <laughs> now she's got no class. <laughs> All right, I'm going to follow Don. Don, I guess I'll get over. Oh, no, I'm going to get over. I'm in the backup thing. Oh, yeah, we're over. Yeah, we're right. over. Yeah, right. yeah. So let me introduce the band. You're, you're, uh, you're right, my left. Peter Davis on the clarinet and the tenor guitar and the piano. Johnny Rosen on the guitar. I'm Donald Young, I'm on the bass. And the lovely and talented Annie Rosen on the bass. We play at the Saratoga Racetrack doing strolling music and I brought in this song this summer, and it was a hit with a lot of little kids, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if we can Most do it. these people are little kids. Yeah. I, still have a lot of, I still have a lot of little kid in me. Are there any little kids in Vermont? <laughs> I know they don't allow them in Connecticut, but I thought they allowed them in Vermont. Wait a minute, can you say, oop de wee? Oop de wee. All right. Wait, yeah. again, tell them. Oop de wee. Oop de wee. Hop de doobie doo bow. Hop de doobie doo bow. Cheap. I can't do it. Cheap. 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 Wee be dee be dee boo. Wee be dee be dee boo. Shoo be dee doo. Shoo be dee doo. Scooby doo be doo bee. That's it. Can you remember all of that? We'll see if they can remember all of that. It's going to take us at least probably 10 more gigs before You know what's really scary? We have the words here and we still don't get it. But it's fun. It's a great song. Well, I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top, had to stop, that's what's bothering me. I want to be a man, man cub, stroll right into town. And be just like those other guys, I'm tired of monkeying around. Oh, ooby doo, I want to be like you. I want to walk like you, talk like you too.
talk like you do. You see, it's true. A guy like me can learn to be like someone like you. Now, follow me. How about this? Jabbity Bumbo! Jabbity Bumbo! That is it. What is, what is that called? A WIP? A work in progress. <laughs> Thank you. All right. That's the first time we ever played that in a concert. And all the way up here, three and a half hours in the car, trying to go Scooby Dooby Doo D, Hop the Dooby Doo Wild, B Boo Ba. Keep the wild. Good. Okay, we got one more song for this set, then a break. And um, um, our uh, two wonderful assistants and band psychologists <laughs> will be uh, selling um, some of our products. We have um, not only CDs, which, by the way, are the next vinyl. Uh, and, and, and we have, but we also have uh, download cards that you can bring it straight to your computer. So, uh, and clothing, we have. And, uh, some of our grandchildren live in New York City and they're applying to kindergarten. They need a lot of money, you know. To, 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 they have to bribe the people. We also have an uh, email list and if you sign up, we'll spam you about once a month. Yeah. If you're not getting enough emails. What you Hit the unsubscribe button and we'll send it to you twice a month. Yeah. 
reminder that we have a gig here. <laughs> a little late there. <laughs> I gotta watch what I see around this thing. Yes, we are grandparents. Not fear. But uh, this is a song about what happens when a guy makes a mistake and does his partner wrong. So uh, check out the words, you'll, you'll hear the story. It's called Kick Me When I'm Down. Who uh, played saxophone, he sang with Ella Fitzgerald, and uh, 
wonderful singer. This is Is You Is or Is You Ain't My Baby. And since we don't have an orchestra, you are the orchestra. And this is the orchestra's part, so <clears throat> get ready to uh, sing along. It goes like this. Do, 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 do. Of Eastern Kentucky, 
That's the place where I trace my bloodline, and it's there I ran on a hillside gravestone. You'll never leave Harlan alive. Oh, my granddaddy's dead across the Cumberland Mountains, where he took a pretty girl to be his bride. He said, Won't you walk with me out of the mouth of this holler? Come on, man. 
Yeah, let me do two songs, wow. Don comes from the suburb of Saratoga called Malton, New York, and um, they make chips there. Saratoga Springs is famous for potato chips, but Malta is famous for the other kind of chip that is making it into a, uh, you see my collar, dear? I sorry. Okay. <laughs> and the state gave gross billions of dollars to uh, this company from Dubai. Yes. It's probably, you know, a million dollars per job. To uh, global foundries. And um, it's great for Don because his home value is going to <laughs> Don't have much. So um, that's why we're letting him sing this song. <laughs> I've been wondering. <laughs> he's not down, he's not down and now <laughs> So this is a couple tunes. This is a tune by a group called the Cats and the Fiddle. Cats and the Fiddle were a sort of jivey band in the 30s and 40s. And it's called, the name of this tune is I Miss You So. And we mashed it together with Memories of You from U.B. Blake to be played by Peter Davis right in the middle of the tune. Here we go. Ready? Two, three, and... Another slow song.
Donald, what happens when you put the accent a little different on the name of that song? Then it's, I miss you. So. <laughs> Well, what are uh, the Roses doing? Oh, is this the time for the, uh, yeah. <clears throat> the radio show? Well, we needed a married couple for the next song. And it just so happens, we have a married couple. Are you married to each other? We are 39 years of bliss. We never had a single argument. <laughs> 39 years. Congratulations. How, how many have you? 20? <laughs> no. 39. 39. Beautiful. Years. We need a married couple for this tune. It's like kind of like Johnny Rosen here. It's kind of like an old radio show, you know, where when we last spoke to Johnny Rosen, he was in the doghouse for doing who knows what. <laughs> so here's Annie and Johnny Rosen singing a song called Do Do Something. <laughs> Betty Boo. Betty Boo. Ready? One, two. One, two, three, four. sound like Edith Bunker, though. <laughs> Not like Betty Boo. Archie! I love that song. <laughs> well, here's another tune by the Nobel Prize winner. Donald's going to play his other instrument. Yeah. We want to thank uh, all the organizers for bringing us out here to beautiful Vermont. What a drive we had. Yeah. Amazing. We should, pay, we should pay them for getting to be leaf people. Oh, yeah. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I skipped, we skipped um, the whole Shelburne and Burlington thing. Mm -hmm. Took the eastern side, Richmond and Jefferson Hill. So beautiful. Yes, and thanks to Brian, the amazing sound guy.
he's very, very easy to work with.
Excel shrink. Excel shrink. And the waistlines grow. And the waistlines grow. I didn't hear that one. <laughs> and, the, and the waistlines grow. And the waistlines grow. You've climbed the mountain. You've climbed the mountain. Now you're over the hill. Now you're over the hill. And we sing this part together. Life would be so sweet when you take your seat.
Good singing. No, Pete Sutherland writes really great songs, so you can check them out by using that thing called the internet. That's it. I just want to say I read this incredible book recently by the incredible writer Isabel Allende. Anybody read any of her books? Oh my God. Something about the pedal by the sea. Incredible historical fiction, but I was so inspired by what I read that I checked her out on YouTube and they were talking about how no matter how old you are, you can stay young by keeping that passion, but also about community. And that's what I love about coming to Vermont because I don't see the Walmarts and you know people on doing this. I mean, it's, it's great to be in such a wonderful, warm community. Thank you for having us. Also, um, uh, these, that last song and the next three, we were going to have our friend Will Patton sitting in with us, which uh, he did the last time we played here, but unfortunately he's a little bit under the weather tonight, so we're going to miss him. But we're thinking about him during these songs.
first song was by Leonard Cohen, who we adore. And the second one was by Peter Davis, and he's not too bad either. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the name of that song was Hugo's Waltz. You want to say anything about Hugo? Hugo's Waltz, well, my daughter was living in Tempe, Arizona, and I went to visit her, and her cat got into a fight in the alley. It's in the house and was dying. And we were just sitting there waiting for the cat to get better, and I had a guitar, and the song just came out on the guitar. So I named it after the cat who eventually recovered and lived 15 more years. <laughs> oh. Hey! So Peter, why was the song about Hugo in a minor key? What was the deal with that? I don't know. I was just noodling and it just popped out. But you didn't want to come over here, you could do Five Guys in a Oh, am I going to do that? I know. I'm doing it. I think he should. I think he should. Yeah. Oh, God. I think he should. We need a fifth guy. <laughs> That's right. Okay, who's, who's going to come up here and help us out? You can start it off. crossover hit for a black artist on the white radio stations, which was called Choo 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 Boogie. And this is another one that he wrote. It's called Five Guys Named Mom. Thank you. 
I love that. Are we getting down toward the end? Yeah. Church, should we do a church song? Just do a church. Mm -hmm. 